All right, so I got a box from Tangent Engineering, Jim Enos. Um, this is a quill wheel. Uh, you guys might have seen these on uh, some of the other uh, YouTube machinist channels, and um, look uh, basically kind of like a steering wheel to replace the uh, stock handles for uh, your quill and. Uh, I've got one in this box. So, Jim has been making these for Bridgeport and uh, I don't know what other mills uh, for quite some time now. And he has now introduced one to fit the Precision Matthews 727V. So, uh, Pretty excited to see what this looks like and how this uh, fits and works. Nice, got a Nice notice here on the inside about not saving or not getting rid of the box until you uh, make sure it fits that he'll uh, exchange it. Oh yeah, look at that. Let's see if I can make this out a little out of room up here. There we go. Very nice. Comes with a new knob and everything. All right. Looks like this is the rest just packing material. Very cool. All right. Well, let's get this on and see how it works. So before we uh, install the new quill wheel on the mill, let's take a look at some stickers I got. So the first one is from Stevie GTR, Anything Garage, over in the UK. Uh, Steve recently did a video on a uh, carriage stop for his Myford lathe that I thought was a pretty cool design. It uh, has a built-in telescoping rod. Um, I think I uh, might have to check that out and see about making one of those. Um, and Steve's been doing quite a bit of work uh, refurbishing his uh, bandsaw and a, a, a drill press. So uh, he does good work. You should check him out. So let's see. The next sticker is also from the UK. from Ollie's workshop. So um, Ollie is uh, in his latest couple videos has been uh, putting a new motor and a VFD drive on his lathe and um, I tell you the motors themselves I understand but the the VFDs that's some complicated stuff there setting those up. Uh, but he does good stuff too with uh, CAD and CNC so uh, I'm learning a lot from him on that. I tell you, I feel for these guys in the UK. I'm looking at the uh, the postage, and uh, and uh, Ollie had to pay one pound sixty to send me stickers, and Stevie's was two pound fifty five. I tell you, I, uh, I believe the stamps I bought were seventy five cents for international. All right, and then next we have not only stickers or a sticker from Hilltop Machine Works from Tom, uh, but he also sent over a, a little Starrett pocket reference and a can koozie. So um, thanks, Tom. This is going to be uh, getting some good use this summer on uh, on the boat. So, um, yes, Tom's got a really nice uh, machine shop. He's got a pr pretty big setup, 
got a lot of tools. He's working on an OD grinding fixture right now that looks like an interesting build. Um, I'm still in the process of uh, getting my surface grinder cleaned up and ready to use, but learning a lot from those kinds of things about what I might want to do. Um, and then he also did a job doing a uh, one of Keith Rucker's uh, straight edges that uh, it looked was an interesting job. So um, yeah, so uh, like I said, give him a, a check out too down in Virginia. And then last but certainly not least is uh, Alberto from Italy. AB Shop. Alberto is an extremely nice guy. He uh, recently just did a couple uh, uh, video on uh, the town, the, the city that he lives in, gave a little walking tour of that. Um, and uh, one of the last videos I watched, he uh, was talking about how he got into, uh, interested in uh, working with tools and that kind of thing from his dad's influence. And uh, I think that's great. And, and he shares uh, one of the sentiments that I do is that uh, one of the reasons I got into this, and he says, I I'm really proud and happy to find new friends all over the world that, that share the same passion. Um, and I totally, absolutely, 100% agree. It's, uh, it's the reason I like doing this. I've met so many cool people. So I'll get these up on the sticker board and show you where they are, and then let's take a look at how that quill wheel mounts. All right, so there's the new stickers up on the board, right beneath uh, Dean from um, AYR Cave Shop, uh, Dudley Toolwright, and uh, and Billy from Knox Machining. So you're in good company, guys. And uh, if anybody else would like to exchange stickers, I'd love to. My email address is always in my about page on the channel. Uh, drop me a link or drop me an email. Okay, so we're going to install the, uh, the new quill wheel, and uh, it's pretty simple. All you do is take off the old lock knob, you're not going to need that knob anymore, pull off the handle and the hub, there's a spring inside. You're going to need that, but that's the only piece out of all of this that you're going to need. The rest of this you can set it aside. Make sure you didn't lose your key that uh, on mine is kind of on the back side here. And then you take your, your quill wheel, line up the uh, the keyway with the key. It's actually a much better fit than the uh, than the stock one. The stock one's kind of loose on here. Get that lined up with it. There it is. And then take the new knob and the supplied spacer. Put that on. Thread it in a little bit and you're good to go. Still uh, can lock it all the way down and use the a fine feed. Unlock it and away you go. So I've used this uh, for a little while now and I have to say I really do like it. it um, it's very convenient having, having the full diameter of the wheel to grip whenever you want, wherever you want, without having to locate one of the handles that always just seem to be in an inconvenient place. So it's a uh, extremely well made product Jim, the owner of Tangent Engineering, puts a lot of uh, thought and pride into 
making sure that the product is top quality. So um, Jim has indicated that he has a few more quill wheels for the Precision Matthews 727s that uh, he'd be willing to uh, make the first few people who respond a uh, heck of a deal on. Uh, I won't uh, discuss prices or anything, but uh, let's just say uh, you won't be able to beat the price um, because he's still kind of in beta mode and wants to make sure that his uh, product is uh, fitting all of the uh, required uh, mills with no problems. I don't know if the hub and assembly is the same size on the uh, 727Ms but uh, it certainly would be worth reaching out to Jim uh, to see if you have a 727M or any of the other uh, Precision Matthews mills around this size. I do know the PM25 is quite a bit smaller so this will not fit and in fact the quill wheel may be a little bit too big for that mill. Um, the wheel is the same size as the uh, original so uh, keep that in mind and uh, yeah like I said really like it so uh, give a shout out to uh, Jim give him a call or drop him an email I'll put a link in the description and uh, get yourself one of these